About a month ago, somebody made a Harry Potter Balenciaga ad, and it slaps. Master has presented Dobby with Balenciaga. Dobby is free. And the whole Balenciaga meme is taking characters from stuff and just making them like giga chads for this Balenciaga style fashion shoot. But after a whole month, we have finally been blessed with rock climbing edition Balenciaga memes. We got Tommy Caldwell. We got some big names. Chris Sharma here, looking good. Fashion Don't know who this is. No idea who this is supposed to be. I'm not gonna lie. I, th I think, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Stefano. Stefano's looking good. <laughs> there is no there is Daniel Woods. I think that's supposed to be Daniel Woods. What? <laughs> they got a picture of him on the rock. He looks so cool. <laughs> that little head movement. He's like, Oh my God, no I love that. I have no Balenciaga. idea who this is. I don't These do are amazing, dude. Do Balenciaga. He looks terrifying. <laughs> Adam Mondra. Alex Puccio. I think, I think that's Magos. I can't fucking tell. It's so hard to tell who they're supposed to be. The only thing higher on the wall than me is Balenciaga. I'm so sorry, Tommy. They did, they did you dirty, Tommy. He looks terrifying. They're supposed to be like the hyper handsome version of them. They should have just used Tommy looks better than this. This is, this is horrifying. There are only two things that matter in rock climbing. Dinos and Balenciaga. We got a lot of good posts this week. My average dino, how it felt, looking cool big T-Rex, I already saw <laughs> how it looked. <laughs> My boy Barney, don't don't hate on Barney, okay? Show some respect, he was the OG. Barney was the, the original dino. This is so annoying though, because there are so many dinos that are just ridiculously hard and they just look like mid when you do them. I don't, let me see if I can find this really quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. So like this one right here, th this is a good example. This this is one of my, uh, my older videos right here. So this dino, it, it's pretty massive. It was like seven and a half feet, but it was a lot easier than a lot of other dinos I've done, but it looks way cooler, even though it's from jugs to jugs because Big dinos just look better, even if they're easier to do. Look at that. Oh, I missed it. Never mind. Look at that. Basically signed up Reddit for my offer to the church V4 dino. I 100% I get it. I literally made my Reddit account for the PewDiePie submission subreddit, which is where I stole this idea from. So, you know, history repeats itself, I guess. Right, let's see a, a V4 dino. That was pretty tough for a V4 dino. You just blew that dude's mind. That dude was... <laughs> Wait. I need to find a guy like that to bring with me whenever I do dinos. Just be like, whoa! Did you fucking see that? Whoa! My first offering from Arhus, Denmark. Oh, Denmark. Oh, well, uh, I, I don't know any Denmarkian. <laughs> Let's see. Arhus. Every time I look up pictures where you guys live, it looks like some kind of fairy tale. Like, look, they got the, the cool buildings, the big, uh, the spiky ones, and then the like Final Fantasy, like 1990s RPG buildings. They got a big bubble of earth, pretty cool. You know, like everyone in town hangs out in the bubble. Like, it's like everybody like the bubble. <laughs> everybody like the bubble. We dance in the bubble, we sing in the bubble. <coughs> Is that an Italian? I think that might have been an Italian accent or just a made up accent. I don't know if anyone actually talks like that. But look at all the cool shit they have. All right, I still need to, <laughs> to look at the dino. I'm hoping that this is in the bubble. I'm gonna assume that, you're, that this climbing gym is inside the earth bubble in uh, Arhus, Denmark. It says a pretty head scratching dino. That was pretty cool. I, I thought that was a cool dino. I, I don't know why, why you're complaining so much. I'm gonna name this the bubble dino. That's a cool dino. The start's a little wonky. The start's weirder than the dino. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Hey. 
Now that's proper topping technique. I didn't watch that far, far into the video. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Popper topping technique. It actually just looks like proper topping technique. Uh, maybe he was just being real. Bitch, I'm up. Thank you for introducing me to the bubble. A comp style side dino. All right, let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa what was that? <laughs> Is that? I thought you were putting chapstick on. Is that smelling salts? I have never seen someone use smelling salts for climbing. Wait a minute, I have to, did you say? I took a whiff of the dino holy water to bless my send. I need to get my hands on some of that. I didn't know there was dino holy water. I'm, I'm a little behind, I guess. That means Tomoa himself blessed that holy water for you to send this. I'm assuming you send it right after the sniff. I wanna see the sniff before, there we go. He gets the sniff, Whew. gets a little, little spice in him, ready to go. Here we go. Smelling salt, our dino holy water dino. Hell yeah, look at the aggression. That's what the dino holy water does. This is probably the most metal dino I've seen with the head bang and the smelling salts. Voltex 7B plus Fontainebleau. Is this rainbow rocket? Or is this uh, like a different one? Is this one of the ones like next to it? Get it, nice. So Rainbow Rocket, wait a minute. Rainbow Rocket's right up here in the middle, right? This is Rainbow Rocket, so then this is Voltex. What grade is that? 7B plus, so V8, okay. So there's a V8 and then uh, Rainbow Rocket's V11, I think. Did you guys see the Bobats video they just put out where Toby Seeger did, not only did he do Rainbow Rocket, but he also did whatever the one to the right of it's called. It's like a V12. Yeah, it's right here. Rainbow Rocket, 7C plus 8A, that's a, uh, Fancy talk for uh, like V10, V11, I think. But he does the, oh, I think it's right here. He does Rainbow Rocket. No, okay, well, I guess not. And they brought Alex Honnold, I forgot to mention that. It's a pretty cool video. When does Toby do the, the, the dino? Oh my God, I got an ad. Okay, I think it's right here, right here. Check this out. This guy, he doesn't even rock climb. Just a parkour dude out having a good time, getting on a V11 boulder. Rainbow Rocket right there, V11. I don't even know if Toby's done any outdoor climbing before, so that might be, his first send might be a V11. Okay, so <laughs> the, one, the one I was talking about, it's called Red Rocket. I don't know how I didn't pick up on that earlier. So Toby, the Red Rocket himself, does Red Rocket. I'm pretty sure he does get it. That's not Toby. I'm pretty sure he gets the, the, the V12 dino. I didn't know there was a harder one until I saw this video. Yeah, look at that. That's that's wild. Look how high that is. That's like at least seven or eight feet, I feel like. It might be more. Pretty crazy. I hurt myself many times for this. Better be good then. Hurt himself many times. That was pretty solid. Is there another one? Okay, we got another dino, good. Ooh, that's a pretty beefy dino. You know, it was, it was worth the pain and suffering. We call that, uh, what do you call that? And like, when people like hurt them, they like whip themselves, <laughs> so the penance or whatever. But you did it. You did it and now you may rest easy, my son. Easily one of the best dinoists. The Marge Lepardus Wady weighs around 8.8 .8 pounds, a solitary and nocturnal cat, an excellent tree climber. The Marge is small, wild cat. I'm seeing a lot of static climbing so far. I respect cats and their climbing ability, but I'm not seeing a lot of dinos. Always running fast. Easily leap from branch. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you see that dino? Look at this. Just caught right onto the tree. He's a great, he's a, <laughs> he's a real dinoist. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, this man's crazy. Look at all this. This is actually a cub. Is this even like a full grown one? Oh, he's stealing some eggs. Dinoists love stealing eggs. Smallest member of the cat family. They used to bound their tails to balance themselves and they zip through the trees. They also dino through the trees. We salute you, fellow dinoist. Dino into rose move. Ew, that's disgusting. There are a lot of, wait a minute, there are a lot of watermarks going here. My first V6, Clouds by Kanye. You guys aren't gonna hear that part. At Dino Detroit, I swear. <laughs> Every dino comes from Dino Detroit. <coughs> Why is everybody going to Dino Detroit? How many people live in Detroit? There can't be this many. All right, Dino Detroit, what do you have for us today? Going up to green. Nice. 
So are you gonna post your foot into a rose? Oh, is that a rose move? I mean, it's cool. I just call that a, a spinny campus move. I think that's the technical term, spinny campus. I thought a rose move was where you're like here, or wait, yeah, no, yes. I can't remember how you do a rose move. Oh no, okay, a rose move, right? You're pulling on a hold like this, and you have to like gas on and then cross over. I thought that was a rose move. Either way, it doesn't matter. Nice dino, very well done. Dino into spinny campus, I'm a fan. Mars climbers at it again. I don't know what Mars means. Are we talking about like the planet Mars? Mars climbers seeing Will Bosey send burden of dreams. Nah, that ain't about that. Watching Z <laughs> Zoop Zantar send a 163 foot dino in Varis Marineris. Is that an Italian dino, 163 foot? I love Zoop Zantar. <laughs> Dude, Zoop Zantar, he's ahead of his time. Over in Mars, you know, we got Tomoa here. Zoop, Zoop is the real deal over in Mars. What the fuck is Valleys Marineras? Valleys Marineras is a system of canyons that runs along the Martian surface east of the Tharsis region, of course. Damn, look at that. Look, oh dude, we even got Zoop in the picture. Fuck, fuck, what is happening? Zoop Xandar himself is here. Wonder where the dino he did was. I'm guessing probably somewhere in this area. That looks like it's about 100, 160-ish feet. Let me know if you guys find any footage of uh, Zoop Xantar doing some dinos. I'm a big fan, I'm a big Zoop fan. Dinos aren't my strong suit, but anything is possible with hype from the homies. That's so true. Anything's possible when you got good friends with you. Yeah! Your, your friends are so nice. I don't even have anything funny to say about that. That was just so wholesome. Like with me and Ryan, if he gets a dino that I didn't get, I don't cheer, okay? Ryan will catch like a big dino and turn around and be like, oh dude, did you see that? And I'm like, fuck you. V5, V6, awkward dino. This took me seven sessions. This was a very awkward prison jump from seven sessions. You know the longest I've ever projected a boulder? Probably two sessions. <laughs> You have some dedication, my friend. I wanna see what seven sessions gets you. I've never had that level before. All right, the holds you're dinoing from look absolutely awful. It's just volumes. And I hate volumes. I'm not a volume guy, personally. I prefer a foot chip. Very nice dino. It did look, look like you might have dabbed, though. Let me check real quick. Let me do an official Church of Dinoology review. Uh, refs are reviewing it. Ooh, run it back. We got a dab, doesn't count. Great dino, I love to see it. Let's see, uh, you know, you, if you commit to the whole thing. You did say it took seven sessions. I wanna see, you know, what seven sessions gets you. Is seven sessions gonna pay off? Are we gonna find out? I feel like he wouldn't have left all this in if he doesn't top it, but hell yeah. Seven session dino, congratulations. Very cool dino. All right, so now it's time to address the elephant in the room. We got over 1K members in the Church of Dinoology now. And I said last week, that I was gonna do something pretty crazy if we got over a thousand members in the Church of Dinoology. The problem is I can't decide what exactly it is that I wanna do to celebrate this moment. So the first idea I had, which is probably my favorite, is a live stream, a rock climbing live stream where you guys can just basically boss me around because I know that's what you guys are gonna do for however long. Uh, I just need to kind of secure a location and stuff because I don't really wanna do it in a crowded gym because A, it just feels douchey, and B, I don't want people running around saying shit because they know I'm live streaming getting me banned. So it will be a little hard to set up, but I will do it. If you guys wanna do a live stream, I do think that could be really fun. The other idea I had that was kind of similar is basically you guys tell me what to do for like a video. Basically you guys like pick a series of different challenges I have to do and put them in the Reddit and then I gotta do them all in my next video. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and after I get a general idea, we'll start to iron out some of the details of what exactly we're gonna do. Also, I know I've been saying in every video, but I'm gonna keep reminding you, dinos, kilter board, moon board, tension board, keep submitting them. We've had a good amount so far, but we, the cup runneth dry a little bit. I don't know if that's how you use that expression, but we haven't been getting that many lately. I'm hoping that you guys are just really projecting these dinos. You guys are really honing them in, so you got a really well set one. To give you guys a little teaser, a little update, Drink More Red Bull, the 35 degree dino one of you set, that's my favorite one so far, I'm not gonna lie, that, 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 that's a banger. So keep making dinos on the boards and keep putting them in the Reddit. I'll try any of them.